Okay, day three. We will be mounting and taping the canvas in preparation for painting. You will need an adjustable ruler, or I you you need a ruler, but I use a an adjustable drywall square ruler, 48 inch painter's tape, a stapler, and a pencil. <laughs> I also got this board here, this wood board from Lowe's. It was pre-cut already. And this is what I'm gonna be mounting my painting on. I've already done one staple and I'm going to staple the rest to make sure it is secure. I just do kind of three on each side. Real simple. Then I take my ruler and I'm going to draw the line of where I want my painting to start. And I usually give a little space, I would say two inches for enough stretching about the width of the ruler. And since this is a perfect square for me, I really don't need to do much but align the edges. And just draw a quick line. So now after you've got about a two inch border all around, I just take my masking tape or painter's tape um, this is again Lowe's. It's called frog tape. I don't like to use the blue kind because it doesn't stick. It and it doesn't. It's annoying <laughs> because when I'm here doing my washes, sometimes whether I'm doing a sky or the ground, it'll seep through and it'll drip all here. Now that doesn't matter, but sometimes when you don't frame your work and let's say you're showing your work and it's not framed a lot of collectors like to see unframed work because they want to put their own frame on it um it doesn't look as messy and it looks really really clean so i'm just taping off the line i made I just applied or masked away my border so I can have nice clean lines. When you don't know really about yourself, you tend to paint things that you believe other people want. Um, when you know yourself, you know what you want to see and it shows through the canvas. What I like to call this is figuring out your DNA as an artist. You have to know what, what is your message. When you figure that out, which does take time, because you really have to look deep into yourself and figure out what you want to say. If you like flowers, and that's your passion, it's something about the flowers you like. What do you like about flowers? Is it the colors? Does it remind you of anything else? Does it make you happy when you are sad? All these elements can in be incorporated into your painting so you're not just drawing a flower that anybody sees, but you're showing the audience how you see this flower.
So when you figure out your DNA, everything else flows. If you don't know yourself, you tend to paint things and it looks, it could be anybody's painting. It's not a part of you. So you're painting for somebody else. But when you know yourself and you paint for yourself, it's a part of you in that painting. People could feel what you're feeling. It creates emotion in people, whether it's abstract, whether it's a flower, whether it's people. So I'm gonna bring it in and these wheels are gonna be turning and anything I absorb from now, from everything I've ever learned in the past is going to come to fruition. All right, I'll see you next time.